Nat's vision is adapted to working best at dusk and dawn. The reason for this is that the eyeball in a cat is very large in proportion to the size of its head. It's actually almost as big as a human eye, but of course it's embedded in a much smaller head. The reason they need a large eye is to be as efficient as possible, to pick up light when um, there is actually very little light available. So a moonlit night, for example, is pretty bright as far as a cat's concerned. Our eyes are dominated by colour receptors called cones, uh, and so we see colour pictures all the time. Cats do have some cones, but they only have two kinds rather than three, which means they're effectively red-green colour blind. And also, um, they don't seem to pay very much attention to colour. It's actually very difficult to train a cat to distinguish between two colours, whereas two shades of grey, they will learn the difference between them very quickly. So it's not so much what colour something is that interests a cat, it's whether it's light or dark. And the other thing about their eyes is that they're very sensitive to movement. They're much more sensitive to movement than our eyes are. It's the way that they're wired up to the brain. And that's why, for example, you see a cat uh, get terribly excited by uh, some dry leaves blowing around in autumn. Those flickering movements that the, the leaves make are absolutely fascinating as far as the cat's concerned and, and trigger all sorts of exciting stimuli in their brains. There's a drawback to the cat's very large eye. It's very efficient at capturing light, but it's so big, it's difficult for the cat to focus it. In fact, it's possible that cats really don't bother to focus their eyes at all. They're kind of like a fixed focus lens. And when they get very close to something, it goes out of focus. This is where the whiskers take over. Uh, everybody knows that cats have whiskers. Um, what I think many people don't know is that they're incredibly mobile. So when a cat's pouncing on a toy, for example, it will swing those whiskers forward uh, to, to find out exactly how far from its nose the mouse is. And as soon as the whiskers touch something, they'll relay information back to the brain, down to the paws, and they'll know exactly where to make the strike. All of that time, they're really not using vision at all because their eyes aren't working uh, at that close range. 